Today I'm going to show you how to receive irrigation onto your sterile field. Now irrigation, different irrigations can have different effects on the cells in your body. So we treat irrigation just like we do with medication, which means we follow the six rights of medication administration. Now the most common kind of irrigation is 0.9% sodium chloride, which is sterile water with 0.9% salt added to it. So there's 0.9% of this is salt. Now that salt balances the amount of salt that is in your cells. The high class term for that means it is isotonic. The salt outside the cells is going to match the salt inside the cells. So we want to balance the salt outside of the cell and inside the cell. So we're going to use an isotonic solution like 0.9% saline, otherwise known as normal saline. To confirm that we have the correct irrigation, we must verify it with the circulator at three different times throughout the process. The first check happens before we open our back table pack. You and the circulator together verify that the gathered irrigation matches what is on the surgeon's preference card and that none of the medications or irrigations have expired. I've got 0.9% sodium chloride irrigation, March 2025 expiration. I agree. Sometimes nurses are in a hurry and they'll pour the irrigation into your pitcher while you're busy setting up another part of your sterile field. One way to control when irrigation is added to your field is to place your pitcher upside down on your table and turn it over only when you're ready. The second check happens just before the irrigation is delivered onto your field. The circulator will present the irrigation and the two of you together will look at the label while one of you reads it out loud. So have your irrigation, 0.9% sodium chloride, Expiration March 2025. Now it's time to transfer the irrigation. If the irrigation is in a bag, the circulator can use a bag decanter to pour it into your pitcher. But most of the time, irrigation comes in a bottle, and I'm not aware of a bottle decanter for irrigation. So the circulator will need to pour this into your pitcher without contaminating. Here's a good way to achieve this. Hold your pitcher out so your circulator can fill it. Your circulator will face you and bring the bottle in from the side. Then with a fast tilt, he'll pour the irrigation in an arc, such that the tip of the bottle never goes over your pitcher. When the stream starts to slow, the circulator will quickly turn the bottle upright again. Once the irrigation is on your field, you immediately label any container that may hold the irrigation. That usually means making two labels. You will use the black tip of your pen to write the labels. The purple ink tends to smear easily and this defeats the purpose of the label. Place one label on your pitcher, taking care not to cover the increments on the side. Place the other label on your aseptos. Now because aseptos tend to get very wet, labels don't remain stuck to them for long, unless you do this neat trick. Remove the aseptos septo bulb and place the label along the inside edge. Then reinsert the bulb. The label will still get wet, but it won't peel off and you can still read it. Once the irrigation is labeled, it's time for the third check. The circulator will again hold up the irrigation container and you will both look at the label while one of you reads it out loud. 0.9% sodium chloride, March 2025. Don't cap that. To fill the aseptos, place a finger on each of the two tabs on the side of the bulb. Place your thumb on the back of the bulb and press in completely. Place the tip of the aseptos into your irrigation and release your thumb. This will draw up the irrigation into the syringe. But the syringe is not completely full, so turn it over and allow the irrigation to flow into the bulb itself. Then using your thumb, press the bulb all the way in again. Place the tip of the syringe back in the irrigation, release your thumb and draw up some more irrigation. Turn the syringe over again and let the irrigation flow into the bulb. The syringe is almost full, but not quite at this point. This time, press the bulb only to the point that the irrigation starts to drip out the tip. Then quickly turn the syringe over and insert it into your irrigation. If done properly, the syringe should be completely full of irrigation and there should be no air in there. With the syringe full, you can either place it in a kidney basin or you can place it back into your pitcher. But if you place it in the pitcher, remember that the bulb of the aseptos is top heavy. So the most stable way to place it in the pitcher is with the bulb down. If you place it with the bulb up, it doesn't take much of a bump for the pitcher to tip over and make a big mess. Whenever you pass your irrigation to the doctor, you will always state what it is. 0.9% saline. 
So that's how we transfer irrigation onto our sterile fields.